Shall we begin? Hey there, boys and girls. Bob Kearns here, the unsung photographer. And tonight, or yeah, this evening actually here, we're going to talk about gear. Everybody loves to talk about gear. I watch all the other channels. It's gear, gear, gear. So today we're going to talk about gear. Ready? Piece of gear number one. This is a Canon TL. This is from, geez, I'm not really sure, 1980s? Late 70s? I don't know. But it's a 35 millimeter film camera. It had a cool feature at the time. Uh, it was called Quick Load. And you would put your canister of film in here, take your film, put it there, and when you close this, this trap would come down, make sure it was engaged on the sprockets, and it was very easy to load. So that was Quick Load, the QL feature on this old Canon film camera. The other thing this old Canon film camera has is this. Oh, I love that sound. That's sweet. Old manual film camera. Uh, it used to have a light meter in it, but you can't get batteries for it anymore. 100% manual. Okay, our next big super duper camera. This is a Holga. Uh, if you know a hipster, you've probably seen one. If not, <clears throat> go meet one. This is the quintessential hipster camera. This is a 120 camera. It's entirely plastic. Uh, you focus it either on a mountain, a herd of people, two guys, or a fella. Could be a girl. I don't know. You've got two sort of f-stops. Bright. Mm, really bright. Uh, you've got different colors you can put in front of your flash when you put batteries in the flash. I don't even know if there's batteries in it. Don't know. It leaks light. It's uh, it takes blurry photographs, it's got a plastic lens, and that's a whole. It takes 120 film, by the way. What else have we got? Here's a Nikon N90S. This is also a 35 millimeter film camera, but a really nice one. This has a motor drive. Uh, it has a lot of the automatic features of the modern uh, Nikons. Uh, not all of them, but a lot, and it's a really nice camera, and this is the one that goes whir, click a whir, click a, you know, when you push the button. Very nice. What else have we got here? Ah, we have with us tonight the king of all cameras, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm, the mighty Hasselblad. No batteries, entirely clockwork, all mechanical. Um, all the controls are on the lens, the shutter speed, your aperture, the shutter is in the lens. These are beautiful cameras, square format, 120 film this one. Uh, you can shoot them with 120, 220. Uh, you, I think, I don't know whether there's a 35 millimeter back for this or not. But there's all kinds of different film backs. You can do different things, different formats. The popular one, of course, is the 6x6 square. We also have a digital camera, just to prove that I do have one. I don't have my D800 out here today. Uh, this is the Panasonic GH4 with an Olympus lens on it. And just to prove that it's actually digital, look, it has a sensor. What do you know? This is a nice little camera. It's really good for video. I usually shoot the videos with this. I'm doing the GoPro today, just for a change. So, what's with the show and tell? The show and tell, basically this. All of these cameras work exactly the same way. Shutter speed, aperture, and the sensitivity of the film or the sensor, which we call ISO. So it's shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. That's it, period. That's all there is to it. So you can make things more complicated. Like this is certainly more complicated of a camera than this one. And the Panasonic is way more complicated and feature rich than this one. This certainly doesn't do video, it still shoots film. This, however, uh, will shoot 4K video, uh, take really nice photographs, do all kinds of automatic processing, whatever you like. Uh, my favorite one is, is, <coughs> is the Hasi. I like, love this camera. It takes beautiful photographs. It's a really nice tool. So that's my point. They all work the same. 
The difference is, is they're, they're tools. You bring the right tool for the right job. Um, they certainly have an effect on the artwork you produce. Let's face it, you're not going to get the same photograph from the Holga that you are from the Hasselblad. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to get the same resolution from an old Canon TL that you will with the Hasselblad or the GH4 for that matter. You use the right tool for the right job, but creativity can come from anywhere. Once you understand how those three things operate, there's no reason to worry about anything else. You can run any of these cameras and create really, really nice work. So, this weekend we're having a workshop. I'm looking forward to, to that. Uh, we've been really busy lately getting ready for all of this stuff. We're looking at doing some traveling workshops a little later in the year. Uh, so, we'll see how that all turns out. You guys, get off your duff, get out there and go shoot. Whatever camera you have, get out and use it. Go make some photographs. I don't care if it's of your dog, your pet chicken. I really, doesn't, doesn't matter. You just have to get out and do it. You, no matter if you're on the right path, you'll get run over if you just sit there. So, take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time on The Unsung Photographer. Please subscribe. Uh, please share. And uh, look for my page, William Kearns Photography, on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Shall we begin?